it's day 149 and I'm three rounds down from my 12 rounds and I'm still tolerating it quite well. I'm not really enjoying the steroids and the lack of sleep and the side effects are certainly nowhere near as extreme as those four big rounds. I am getting bloody noses, not so much bleeding noses out but I, my nose tends to run a bit and, and when I go to blow it it's, it's quite bloody where it runs down the back of my throat and occasionally I'm starting to get the aches and the pains that they associate with it. We do know it's accumulative and that maybe by weeks four, five and six I might be starting to get a few more of the tingly sensations and the, the more pains and aches and things but I'm, I'm tolerating it. There's a bit of nausea there but it's tolerable. I'm finding the hardest thing is that I'm actually feeling better than the other rounds but I don't have the same energy level and I'm still quite fatigued and I'm finding it quite frustrating that I have wants and desires to be doing stuff but I don't have the matching energy levels to be able to do it so I am still having to be a bit careful. But one of the things I've got to show today, this is part of my one of my lines from when I have my treatment, it's got a wee filter on it. Um, this lot of medicine and stuff that goes in has quite a bit of particles and stuff through it so it has to go through this little wee special filter before it can go into my arm. So I asked them the other day, I said, I think I'd like to take that home. I'd like to show that on my video. I think they think I'm quite crazy with all my things that I do show and tell with, but I thought that was quite cool as a momentum anyway. While I have been tolerating these rounds better, I also have to admit that I've had a couple of bad days and I've been really trying quite hard right throughout not to string my bad days together, but there have been a few that have strung together. And I think it's just as I'm trying to accept the enormity of the situation of not just dealing with all these rounds, but about our daughter's transplant coming up as well and the whole juggling of it all and, and how am I going to do it all and the worry of how are we going to move to another city for three months and then the children have got exams and, and every now and again we get an earthquake thrown in at it and then I think financially how are we going to do it and then I think, oh, just as it's time for me to get over that, it's time to do another round again and, and sometimes I'm just finding it just a bit overwhelming. With, with feeling down and stuff, I've realised that this has come back to my own self-control and that I need to be taking control of, of these feelings and so one of the things I've got is this wonderful woman Karen Scott has written this book um, called Rising from the Rubble and while it is partially around the Christchurch earthquake and stories from people how they've survived within their businesses and their personal lives and how they've moved forward it's what it also about is, is about people overcoming their adversity and, and it talks about how to rise up when life knocks you down and it's just been full of great stories, inspirational stories, and I have been really been using these stories as a way forward for me as well as, as I just work through the overwhelming situation. It's lovely as well because it's got a wee blurb about Madeline in here as well, so it is kind of a bit of a personal book as well. But um, I'm just really grateful that Karen wrote this book because it's something that I think everyone needs to read right now.